You probably saw people post it. Well, it's different memes, animated JF all over places. And maybe sometimes you want to create your own. And if you have it stable diffusion, it's much easier to do this by utilizing animated diff. It is interesting extensions and I want to show you how easy you can install and use it and what benefits it will provide you. And I understand it's a lot of different extensions there. You can make animations, but I think this one is very interesting. To install it, you want to open your Stable Diffusion. I will provide a link down below for you to show how to install Stable Diffusion on, on your computer if you don't have it. So after this, go to Extensions, going to the available areas. In my case, you'll notice right here in the list, I already have this SD Web UI Animate Diff already installed it. If you don't have it, go to Available. Click load from, it's preload all the list. I'm going to uncheck install it because I already have it. And we're going to type animated. And as we're going, you'll notice right here, it's come up this extension. Click on install and this tab should turn to install it after it's completed. Next, I would recommend for you going to install it, reload. Be sure it is showing install and no updates require. If any updates require, after check for dates, click apply and restart. In some cases, I would rec recommend restart or or your server because this is mostly reload UI, not to restart your server all the way. And I found maybe if modules are missing, restart all the way will help to upload them or download correctly on your computer. After it's completed, you should see drop down appear Call animate diff and this is meaning we can utilize this with conjunction with all other elements like group control net and any other ones this is also will available in image to image as well let's go back to text to image at this point let's look a little bit closer on animated diff it developed by several very nice programmers developers as well I'll provide link for you down below so you can go check Let's explain how it's work. Generally, it's created a set of animation images to make them similarity, coherence, and after it's combining and creating image. You also have a different previews here and gallery, so you can check what you can do with these animations. As well, if you want it, you can download it directly from GitHub as well, going there and download it all the models installations. You also can have it more than just one animated model as a motion models different. By default, I'm using MSDK V1.5. You can use a different try, see which one will work better for you. For me, I want to test, be sure that what animations are showing here, it's work same on mine for that reason. I'm going to use the same model to new and I found out the best way to download it models. You can go directly if you want to Civit AI or what I prefer it's use it special extensions with Civit AI so you can do directly from your automatic 1111 installation. And you can install same way if you're going to extensions available and just search for Civit AI. And this is what we have at first Civit AI Browser Plus. This way I can just go to Civit AI tab, click checkpoint, type search term what I needed and install directly from here. It's much make it much easier to install it as well. Preview model and also tell me if the model up to date, if I already have it installed once, it will inform if I need update to new versions or it is all current. And if we scroll down below, you can see right here we have it our prompt in everything and it's what I'm going to use. I'm actually going to take and copy this prompt, copying of all of the settings inside and just click generate. Before we're doing even any animations, I want to see what we will have it as an image. And it seems like come up very nicely. So this time I'm ready to have some animations. For this we'll expand our animations. Let's click enable. Notice right here we're using currently model and if we click down you'll notice I have it only one model. You can download it more if you need it. I found this one to work the best in my case. Next, we have it how many frames you wanted. 
and this is work together with the frames per second. It's meaning if I have it 8 frames per second and a 16 frames total, it's give me about 2 seconds of animations. Because this is, will be animated GIF kind of image, I don't need to have a too fast, too smooth animation. So in this pre-default work very well with this. Next, we have our how many times you want to display in a loop. Zero, it means it's create infinity loop, so it will animation loop over and over again. And if you want to do like two, three times animations, you can change here. Before we uh, start generating this, let's look on two other buttons. One, it says move motion to the GPU, CPU from GPU. It's a depend if you have a very slow video card or you want more on the processors, you can click here and this is will just switch if you have a low VRAM. And also, if you want to render some other ones and you're done with the motion, you can remove the motion module from your memory to have a little bit more space for your other work. I'm not going to reuse any seed from this. So we'll just go create generate new. It's probably will be different image from what we have right now. And it will usually take a little bit longer time because we need to render several images, not just one alone. Here is actually a very good example. As we render, you can see right here created image with multiple versions. It's how the work by creating this similarity and comparison all these different images. And here our animation is completed. You can see we still have it a little bit flickering. We have it some watermarking going probably from the model itself. We can replace this very easy by removing. But general, what I was looking on these animations, it is created. It is not very um, complex animations, but it does very nice creating the slightly smooth animations, so we can use it in a, any mem or any other elements. Besides create animation this way, because it's part of the extensions that we can use it, we can utilize work together also with control net and with a roop if we need it. With a control net, we'll just use its image as important. Enable, and we're going to use it open pose. So we'll just analyze all face itself. We'll leave it everything by default. And just for fun, we can install a roop. We'll take same face, put it right here, and enable. In some cases, when I try this, it's actually lead to the crash because some elements happen. But we'll try one more time and hopefully this is will work this time. Okay, let's go ahead and click generate. And we can see at this point the control net definitely work because we have the same pose and position of the face, same angle, everything. So the control net is working in this case. And we can see that at this time the roof kind of start kicking in. Probably will kick for all of the images we need process because it's going multiple. Well, if we look right here, you can see the roof replacing faces. The one problem is only I can perceive what will go on with the roof. It's remove some of the animations because it's actually going to replace the face one with another one. And we probably lose some animations on the face itself. And right here is completed. Let's preview. There's our face. Actually, Rob did a very good job. We have some funny things on the cheek right here. I don't know if it's come, but general composition is there. We have a small animations motion going. Nothing crazy, nothing um, a revolutionary, anything. But I think it's kind of very nice to create this slightly animations. I can see using this maybe for older photos to bring back to life kind of elements. I think this is interesting tool. Anyway, here's a kind of fun, interesting new extensions you can play around to create the small fast animations as loop GIF. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share this video. I'll have very much appreciated uh, your support and if you watch videos all the way and share this. Thanks again.